What's a natural community? Part two. Part one of this series, I talked about how I like using natural communities to describe forests because it speaks to like the true identity of the forest, what it's been for thousands of years and what it may be in the future. The other thing that I like about natural community is it's a definition of ecosystems that is so much more expansive. A definition for a natural community that's borrowed from this book, Wetland, Woodland, Wildland, is that a natural community is, quote, an interacting assemblage of organisms, their physical environment, and the natural processes that affect them. So a lot of times with forests, we get super focused on these trees and we neglect to consider all of these other pieces and parts of what we call a forest that not just makes forests beautiful, but makes them functional. We need all of these other things besides trees to have healthy, vibrant, resilient forests. By this definition, a forest is not just all of these trees, but it's the trees, the plants, the animals, the birds, the bears, the fungi, all of the living pieces and parts that comprise this ecosystem. It's also the physical environment and the parts of it that we traditionally consider to be abiotic or non-living components, things like soils and waters. It also is inclusive of these natural processes, the way that forests change over time. Forests have fooled us all into thinking they're these static, unchanging things, but actually they're incredibly dynamic and processes like this profound and beautiful process of tree mortality are as foundational to the function and the identity of these ecosystems as living trees. So when I say the forest, I don't mean these trees. I mean all of these living things, all of these non-living things, all of these natural processes. It's important that we have a more expansive definition for the thing that we call the forest because it also changes what it means to care for the forest. That it's our responsibility to not just care for these trees, but to hold all of these things at once. 